Uh, hello, Demon families. This is John Hurl, principal of Durango High School. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to let you know we're trying to provide a new way to communicate with our community and our families. And uh, our El Diablo staff has been kind enough to, to help with our video uh, messaging. And hopefully, you'll find it uh, informative and a new way for us to open up lines of communication. Wanted to reach out today and let you know about some really exciting news. We, uh, for the last three years, have been working very hard to become one of the top public high schools in the state of Colorado. We've done that through a literacy focus, really focusing on teaching our kids to read, write, speak, and listen. And if we can give them those skills, then hopefully we've prepared them to be successful when they leave us and go on to the next phase of their life. Uh, the good news for us is through this hard work, we have recently found out that we have cracked into the U.S. News World Report top public schools in the state of Colorado, which is very exciting for us. It's kind of a affirming that the work that we're doing is, is beginning to pay off and our kids are reaping the benefits of what that means. For those of you that may not be aware, uh, the U.S. News and World Report uh, makes their ratings based on a couple of different things. The first thing is college readiness. It's the proportion of 12th graders who took and passed an AP exam. And passing an exam is worth three times more than just taking the exam. They also look at math and reading proficiency based on our state assessments, which for us is the PSAT and the SAT. They look at math and reading performance on the same tests. They look at our achievement gaps. They look at the proportion of 12th graders who took and passed an AP exam in multiple areas. So maybe not just in the sciences, but also ones that have taken English and AP computer science. It's a different way uh, to measure that our kids are taking advantage of cross-curricular AP options. And they also take a look at our graduation rate, which I think many of you may have seen earlier in the year in the Herald. We were excited to see that uh, in 2011, our graduation rate was 71%. And this past year for the class of 2018, it was 87.6%. So we continue to make that an area of focus and a place that we want to improve upon every single year. The cool part for us is that there are 475 schools that were measured in the state of Colorado and Durango High School came out in number 66. And to give that some context, we have never been in the top third ranking ever in the history of Durango High School. So for us to come in at number 66, which essentially puts us in the top 12% of public schools in the state of Colorado. And then the cool part is if you disaggregate that data even a little bit further uh, and you take out the charter and the magnet schools, it actually puts us at number 45. Um, and, and really puts Durango on the map and it's a reflection of the hard work that our kids have really put into um, taking rigorous curriculum like concurrent enrollment, like AP, uh, the, the intentionality that we've put into our postgraduate plans in terms of ICAP readiness, in terms of getting our kids prepared to do whatever they'd like to once they leave us. It's really been a big celebration for our, our staff. It should be a big celebration for our kids, and I think it should also be a big celebration for our parents and our community. Um, but just want to take a moment to pass along that exciting news to you guys as we wrap up the 2018-2019 school year. Um, and it's a great push-off point for us moving forward into the next academic year as well. I hope you all have a fantastic summer. I hope there's some rest and relaxation that occurs. I hope our kids enjoy uh, time with families and, and time outside of the school day um, to rejuvenate and refresh and come back ready um, to make next year an even better year. Take care and have a great summer. Thank you.